All right, I'm on hole number four of the touchdown tournament. I'm in Monday's qualifying round of the rookie division. I'm in my 99 account. Got some low-level clubs, and I'm just out here playing. That's what I'm doing. Hole number four. Okay, I've made a decision, I think. Let me look in my bag before I uh, fully discuss what I'm going to do on this hole. Let's make sure I have – let's see if I have any power five balls. So there's two – the last two par fours, the duck hole, even with my extra mile six, it's going to be difficult. Even with a berserker, it's going to be difficult. But this hole, if I bring out a berserker, it could it makes the a world a difference. So I'm going to bring out a berserker on this hole. I'm going to select that ball. I'm going to bring an extra mile, and I'm going straight at it. And I'm not sure how far the extra this extra mile six is going to get down into that hole or how much overpower I have to put on it or what the deal is. I'm going to have to put some overpower on it, I'm pretty sure. And it does not take a lot of topspin. The deal is, is you're, you're really doing a second bounce rough bump. If you can clip that rough... You will end up getting out of it unless you're way down there at the bottom where the sand's at. So if you're up anywhere up where it's green and not and away from that sand and you hit it, it's coming in there with such speed that it's going to lunge forward and you're more than likely going to end up out of the rough. And my opponent's going through all the effort to go over there on the other side to do the pitch on, but the pitch coming up there, there's moguls on the green. I want my opponent to make the shot so you can see these moguls coming in on the green. I'll be real quiet for him. <laughs> Get in the hole. Hitting it perfect. I missed it. I really want him to get over there because when you come into the green from up there to do that short little chip on the, there's a bunch of mo all those moguls are in the way. And so it's very difficult to get, all right, I do have a window here. It only takes a couple top spin. See where I'm hitting in it in there. So I'm going to come over about, I'm going to, I'm going to eke it a, a ring and a half. I'll take the wind out. It's 2.4 per ring. There's three six, that's a ring and a half. But maximum curl. And hit it perfect. And see if I can curl on the inside of that small tree. If I got enough on there, if I hit the small tree, just enough to bleed through it. And just throw yourself out there into that. If you've got a, a bigger extra mile that's got more curl on it, you can get a little more towards the hole. Or if you had it, an APOC 2. It's about the same distance. It's pretty close to the extra mile 6 and you've got more curl. You could bring that ball around there and you're just clipping that rough and rolling out and you can get, get up there towards the cup. So this shot right here is no gimme even in an upper developed account. But in a lower developed account, this are, these are the kind of shots right here that can kill you around because you, you're getting up there you don't have the ball guide to, to dial you into it, but you're getting up around the green and then you don't have the wedge that will bring it home. The good news about a firefly is, is that it's a cheap man's, it's a poor man's rapier. It gives you the ability to run that top spin out there and do it. It's, it's just, it's not as accurate. And see all these moguls? <laughs> There is a ton of movement around the cup on that side. So if you're hitting from over the other side, it's worth the effort to just try and get on at one because you're going to have to be pitching through all that stuff. It's hard enough from this distance. I'm going to go just a little. I'm going to split the difference on the cup. Maybe hit this perfect. And I hit it great to the left. And I missed it. Oh! Perfect. It goes in the cup. Wind did play a factor there. If wind didn't play a factor, that would have went in. And if wind, I, 
I could have probably hit it great on the right hand side and it would have went in. It was a perfect and a great to the right. Dang it. Put myself in a good spot. That's the deal with, <laughs> that's the deal is you still have work to get done even if you get down in that spot. I should have ran the top spin out and looked at it that way. But I know, I know from experience that this hole right here, it's difficult to run your top spin out because it wants to go all over the place and then it gets lost in translation. So the ball guide, it's one of those things where you move it just a little bit and all of a sudden the ball guide pops out. And you move it just a little teeny bit and the ball guide disappears and you're short. And it's one of those things because it's trying to go up and down those moguls and it gets lost. It starts digging in on one of them. All right, you're getting bonus content on all these holes today because I'm shooting all the par threes because I'm doing rough bumps. And so I want to practice my rough bumps. And this club is not going to be quite enough for this hole. It's not going to have quite enough of the oomph to get up there. I'm going to inch it as much as I can. I'm in a minimum club. It's about two, I'm going to go a ring and a half and a little, see if I can miss that fairway. Get it great to the right, that'll help miss the fairway. It's going to be a little short because I don't think that Viper has quite enough to get up there. It's close, but you get to ride right up along that edge. I need to write down my, uh, I need to go through after I, I'll watch these videos after I post them and make notes. And what I need to do is make sure that I, I'm in minimum club. You're in minimum club right there. So you need to write down on your notes on this hole that you're in minimum club and write those numbers down. So when you get to this spot and you're trying to remember what the numbers are, you can just glance at your notes and it's the only number written down. See if my opponent can get it in the hole. It looks like it's going to be close. Very nice. Nice shot. Winner, winner, chicken dinner. Trying to win them all today. That's the deal. Every, every hole I'm trying to win. And good luck. Off we go. All right. That was hole number four of the touchdown tournament and Monday's qualifying round in the rookie division. Thanks for watching.